let's talk about the formation of our solar system. When people think about our solar system, they generally have a picture like this. Our sun is a glowing sphere at the center of our solar system, and there are planets as well as smaller bodies orbiting it. While the basic idea is true, an artistic image like this feeds a lot of misconceptions. In reality, the scale of the solar system is vastly larger. The Sun is much larger than even the biggest of planets. The distances between the planets are vastly larger than their sizes. And they all orbit at different rates, making a perfect alignment of them impossible. It is essential to distinguish between stars and planets. A star is a very massive ball of hot glowing plasma that fuses hydrogen into helium at its core. Planets are much smaller objects, not massive enough to sustain nuclear fusion, and they orbit stars. Our solar system has one star, the Sun. Our solar system has eight planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. There are also smaller bodies, such as the dwarf planet Pluto, also orbiting the Sun. Where did the planets come from? In order to answer this question, we need to look at the properties of the planets and their orbits as they are today. All planets have orbits that are generally in the same plane as the equator of the Sun. All of them revolve around the Sun in the same direction as the Sun rotates. This is known as a prograde orbit. Not all planets are the same. In our solar system, there are two major categories of planets. The smaller worlds, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, are dense, rocky, and orbit relatively close to the Sun. The giant planets are much less dense, are rich in hydrogen and helium, and orbit much farther away from the Sun.
There are other objects in our solar system that are much less massive than even planets. Theories of solar system formation must also account for asteroids and comets. In another video, I will explain how the nebular contraction theory and condensation theory explain all of these observations.